Hare Krishna. When Shula Sutta Goswami was describing the beautiful pastime of Varahadev appearing from the nose of Brahma and killing Hiranyaksha and saving Mother Earth, at that time a very very important point is made by Shula Prabhupada and he says that when it comes to all of us in this material world, we are forced to take birth by the material laws by the karma that we have from the past and many other factors. But when it comes to the Lord, He might appear in a fish form, that is Matsya avatar, or He might appear in the form of a tortoise, Kurma avatar, or He might appear in the form of a boar, that is the Varha avatar. Whatever it is, but Lord is not forced by material laws, material laws are always under or below the Lord's jurisdiction. Lord's power is there and below that power we have the power of material laws. The Lord's power controls the material laws. So there is no question of Lord taking birth under the laws of material nature. That's not possible. Lord himself says, Maya Dakshena Prakriti. Under my supervision this entire Prakriti is working, the material laws are working. So there is no question of Lord appearing by some force, not possible. Then what is that by which Lord appears in some particular avatar, in some particular form? What is that? One thing is very clear that Lord appears for some purpose and one important purpose is to satisfy, to please His devotees. But what is so great about devotees? Why Lord appears for His devotees? And one of the things that is told by the Acharyas in this context is that when the devotees feel a lot of separation from the Lord, a lot of separation, at that time Lord appears to pacify them by giving His own darshan. Very, very wonderful. So devotees are practicing bhakti, they are rendering devotional service to the Lord and they are feeling a lot of separation from the Lord. So Lord, where are you? Please appear in front of me. I want to take your darshan, I want to serve you, so on and so forth. So when devotees are feeling that pain of separation from the Lord, which is also on the spiritual platform, so at that time, this great spiritual personality, he appears by his own accord to satisfy the devotees, to please the devotees. So what is manifesting the Lord? For sure, the material, not the material laws of this nature, but it is the bhakti of the devotees. Therefore, when we are chanting, if we think that, okay, I'll force the Lord to appear on my tongue, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Lord will see the pain of separation that we have and then He'll manifest. He will see, are we really feeling that pain of being in this material world and not able to serve the Lord? Are we really feeling the pain, that hankering, that when will that day come when I will be able to serve the Lord unlimitedly to a very very great extent for His satisfaction? When will that day come when all the time my mind is completely absorbed in the glories, the form, qualities, pastimes of the Lord? When will that day come? So when we feel that separation and when we pray for it, then the Lord will appear for sure. Therefore, Lord cannot be forced to appear on our tongue but we can surely pray that, O oh Lord, please appear on my tongue. That is, O oh Lord, please reveal your holy names to me so that I can advance in bhakti and serve you better. So today when we are chanting, we can pray to the Lord that, O oh Lord, please appear on my tongue and please allow me to experience the greatness of yours and the sweetness of yours which is there in your holy name. So let's offer this prayer before starting every round and let's have that eagerness. Let's have that eagerness to attain the Lord and let's feel that separation that when will that day come in my life also. Hare Krishna.